good morning my dear children welcome to elga online class today we have to cover unit 3 and day 11 all the time while you are attending the online class make sure that you have student reader workbook pen pencil along with you i will give you 5 seconds time you have to get ready start counting 5 4 3 2 1 and 0 yes i hope you are all ready let us see the phonic session today we will be reading a new words where some letters are silent let us read the words where the letters g and u g h are silent now i'll play the video you listen carefully before that you are take your sr book SR twenty page number seventy and SR twenty one page number seventy one. I'll play the video. Otherwise, you have to keep your finger or pencil like this. You have to use the letter sounds to read these words. Okay? Yes. Let us read some words where some letter sounds are silent. When letters G and H come together, then. Both the sounds of letter G and H are silent. Let us read some words. Straight, straight. So in the word straight, we hear the sound of st. We hear the sound of r. We hear the sound of letter A and I. And then after the sound of letter I, we straight away hear the sound of letter T, which is t. So the sounds of letter G and H are silent. Let's read another word. Caught. Caught. Here we can hear the sound of k. That is of that is the sound of letter C. O. And t. So the sounds of letter G and H are silent. So the word is caught. Caught. Daughter. Daughter. fight fight now let us read some more words where the letter sounds are silent when i g n come together in a word then the sound of letter i is a long vowel sound which is i and the sound of letter g is silent let us read some words sign in the word sign I can hear the sound of letter S, which is s. I can hear the sound of letter I, which is the long vowel sound I, and then I can hear the sound of letter N, which is n. So the word is sign, n, sign. So here the sound of letter G is silent. Let us read some more words. Design, design. align align now let us read some more words where letter sounds are silent when o u g h and t come together then the letter sounds of u g and h are silent so let's read some words thought thought So here we can hear the letter sound of th, that is t and h come together to make th, and then we can hear the sound of letter o, which is o, th, and then in the end we hear the letter sound t. So it, the word is th, o, t, thought. Let's read some more words. Fought. Fought. So, my dear children, did you read along with that C R L? Yes, I hope you are all completed this. Let us move to the whole word section. From this whole word section, you are going to write a self test. Okay, I will give you three seconds time. You have to get ready for your notebook, pen, pencil, eraser along with you. Start counting. Three, two. One and zero. Yes. Different. 
different different start counting 5 4 3 2 1 and 0 next wish 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 start counting 5 4 3 2 1 0 Yes. Next, tried, tried. Start counting. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Yes. Next, spread, spread. Start counting. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Next, chose, chose. Start counting. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Great. Next, those, those, those. Start counting. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Yes. Next, while, while, while. Start counting. Five. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Great. Next, sometimes, sometimes. Start counting. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Next, however, however, however. Start counting. Five. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Yes. Next, received, received, received. Start counting. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Great, my dear children. I hope you you are all finished. Let us check out your dictations. you make a self correction otherwise if you make a mistake no problem you have to write five five times in your notebook which are all wrong okay i'll give you 30 seconds time otherwise you have to pause the video self correction Great, my dear children. My dear children, this is worksheet number seventeen, question number one. You have to do this worksheet with your own. Rewrite the following sentences by replacing the underlined words with their synonyms from the box. Okay, you have to read the question. See the underlined word. After that, you have to replace that. Then write the answer. Since it is in our WhatsApp group, this is your whole word section homework. Okay, great. Next, we will move to the reading and listening comprehension session. I will play the video now. You listen carefully. You have to get some ideas from this video for Google Form about that Google Form. Okay, yes, you listen carefully, my dear children.
size of disk base to host all kinds of files, photos, videos and so on for free. Now, 15 gigabytes is a lot of space, but if you ever fill it up, you can always buy some more space from Google. Within Drive, you can also create all kinds of documents with Google's own web-based office suite. With Google Docs, a simple but powerful work processor, you can write text documents and use Google Search to find relevant information for the topic you're working in without leaving your document. We also have Google Sheets, a handy spreadsheet program to organize your data and work with tons of formulas for your calculations as you would in Microsoft Excel. The suit includes Google Slides to create stunning presentations like the one I'm using for this video. You can also use Microsoft PowerPoint presentations within Google Slides. In fact, Google Docs, Sheets and Slides can all be easily converted to any standard file format in the market. We can also create forums with different types of questions to make surveys or gather information from your friends, students or your customers and analyze the submitted data in an associated spreadsheet. There's also a practical calendar in which we can organize all our meetings, lectures or events, establishing notifications and inviting our contacts. You'll never forget an appointment again. You can also create groups from your contacts and use them as mailing lists or as a base for sharing documents, for example. Another application is Sites, a simple and fast way to create sophisticated web pages with the help of existing templates. You can communicate in real time with your friends, students or customers through Hangouts, either through texting, audio or video calls. With Blogger, you can run your own blogs on topics of your interest, either by yourself or in collaboration with others. If you are a teacher and your education institution uses Google Apps, you can also take advantage of Google Classroom, a friendly e-learning site where teachers can interact with the students, setting and marking assignments, integrating resources and interactive content. And don't forget that each Google account has an associated social network profile in Google+. Plus and also a YouTube account to create your own video channel and upload your recordings. If you are a teacher, remember that in addition to the private Google account, there is also a free version of Google Apps for Education that any academic institution can easily request using their own internet domain name. And beware, because in this free version for education, the drive disk space for each user is unlimited and the administrators can create as many user accounts as they like for all the students and teachers. There is also a commercial version for private companies called Google Apps for Work with almost the same functionality. One of the most interesting features of Google Apps is that these applications run on any device and on any platform or operating system. This means that wherever you are, you can access your documents on any device and continue your work where you left off. In Google Apps, you can easily share your documents, spreadsheets, presentations, etc. with others. What's more, you can also create all these in collaboration with your colleagues or your students. Those who have writing permissions on a document can edit it at any time, even simultaneously. The editing history of a document is stored so that you can always revert to a previous version. Where can we find all these applications? Well,
better ways to access. The easiest way is to open your Gmail account and use the apps icon at the top right corner of the screen. Here you'll find all the apps and you can rearrange these icons as you like. Don't miss our upcoming video tutorials showing how to use each of these applications to take advantage of their full potential. Thanks very much for following our channel and see you soon. Yeah, did you listen the video my dear children? Yes, today we will compare two articles we have read about Google and come up with our own thoughts. Okay? My dear children, which two articles did we read about Google? Yes, don't search, Google it. And Google revaluation, right? This slide you have to write your notebook, okay, and fill that. Compare fact and opinions. Article 1, then article 2. This is the sample answers, okay, facts. Gmail is the free email service developed by Google in 2004. Article 2, Google was founded in 1998 by two university students. Then opinions. Today we don't use words like find or search to know about something. Then Lawrence and Surgery have such succeeded in their mission to organize the world's information in one place. This is the sample answer. This slide you have to complete the table column with your own thoughts. Okay. You have to Again, play that video. After that, you have to complete this table column with your own. Okay. Great. And also, you have to draw the conclusion table. Okay. What do you think about the Google? Okay, my dear children. So, do you understand from this reading and listening comprehension section? Yes. Now, I will say the sample answer from this. I think Google has made it, it every very easy to get any sort of information and change the way the world learns. This is the sample answer for that. Okay. Great. Let us move to the grammar section. We have to recap the tenses. What are the different verb tenses we have learned from our last classes? Do you remember? Yes. Simple, continuous and Perfect. Let us see in our SR book, SR7. You have means you have to take that. See this. Past, present and future. This is the first simple examples. I walked yesterday 9 p.m. Present simple. I walk today 9 a.m. Future simple. I will walk tomorrow 9 a.m. Then, first perfect. I had walked yesterday 9 a.m. Present perfect. I have walked today 9 a.m. Future perfect. I will have walked tomorrow 9 a.m. Just you have to recollect the past, present and future. You have to write five or sentence also. Example sentence. This is very useful to your Improve your English skill, okay? Next, first continuous. I was walking. Present continuous, I am walking. Future continuous, I will be walking. So, my dear kids, do you understand from this grammar session? Already you know well, right? After completing the class, just you have to write 5-5 five, five example sentence in your notebook, okay? And also you have to do one worksheet. This is worksheet number 17, question number 2. Fill in the blanks by changing the verb tenses. This is also your homework. You have to go through the SR book. After that you have to complete this worksheet number 17, 
question number 2 okay yes let us move to the writing and speaking expression skill my dear children i hope you are all finished about your article about news did you complete great we will continue to work publishing our newspapers today as well okay you are going to publish your articles from your with your family members because you don't have a school that's why you have to write the article again for a fresh page just you have to use the edit and enhance cup strategy also on structures also right like that after that you have to complete means you have to show your family members speak about your article clearly okay you have to use the stress for every word this like you have to complete your writing and speaking expression skill okay my dears great so my dear children let us recap today's class in our phonics class we learned about a silent letters next whole words you wrote a self text reading and listening i played a one crl you have to play that video complete that table column grammar we recap the tenses after that you have to complete that worksheet writing and speaking expression full and full years you are going to publish your article in your home independently okay my dears Bye. Thank you. Happy learning.